Hello, this is Goomzilla, and after a lot of requests I decided to make this tutorial, which will help you make a mushroom plush of your own. To make a super mushroom, you'll be needing some red, cream, black and white felt, as well as scissors, a ruler, thread and stuffing. First you'll want an 18 by 18 centimetre square of red felt, which will be the cap of the mushroom. Then we'll be aiming to cut out this sort of shape, which is split 747 as shown. To begin with, make small notches along all four sides at those positions, 7cm from each corner. Once you've done this on all four sides, measure from notch to notch and make faint pencil marks at positions once again 7cm from each side, so that you get four dots like this. Next we cut around from notch to dot. The rounder you cut, the fatter your finished mushroom will be. I'm going to make mine rounder than my previous one. Once you've made one cut, carefully fold the fabric in half and trace over your cut on the other sides. This way you get the same shape on all sides. Fold in half diagonally to get the last four cuts. And then you'll end up with this flower shape template which, when folded up, will look something like this. The body can be made from two rectangles of cream felt, 3.5cm wide and 8cm long. And the base is a circle cut out from a 6x6cm square. This is what they will look like when sewn together. Next are five white spots which will go on the cap. I made mine from 3.5cm squares, but you could make them bigger or have lots of little ones if you wanted instead. The black parts of the eyes are taken from 2x1cm rectangles, which I smoothed out into ovals, and the white parts are from 1x1 1 1 squares. I actually decided at this point to make a poison shroom instead, since I already have a super shroom. So I cut out the same cap template in purple, and gave the shroom some black eyebrows. There isn't actually a poison shroom design which has stuck over the Mario series. Now we're going to start sewing. Thread your needle with white and go in and out of the fabric in the same spot, at least three times, maybe more. Make sure the thread doesn't pull through when you tug at it. This is how you start off. Then, to attach the spots, sew it through the edge of the white spot and back down through the purple. And keep repeating this around the whole spot. Try to stay as close to the spot as possible so the thread is less noticeable. When you get to the end, turn the felt over and finish off. It's exactly the same as starting, just go in and out in the same place at least three times so the thread doesn't pull through when pulled. Then when you cut off the remaining thread, you're finished. Sew on the other four spots, next to your central one with a small gap between them. You can attach each of the eyes in a similar way, or just go in and out of the white pupils as I'm doing here. I'm also doing the eyebrows for my poison shroom. Next we're going to sew up the mushroom cap, so take some thread a similar colour to the cap, turn the fabric inside out and start off, going in at least three times as before. I'm going to show you how to do a blanket stitch, which you can do by making a loop like this, then going into the fabric and back out through the loop of thread. This creates a very strong edge, so it's unlikely to break. This means it's a very useful stitch, and so we'll be using it a lot. The only problem is it doesn't look very good on the outside, which is why we turn the fabric inside out before sewing it. 
continue all the way up the edge, then finish off as before, and it should look like this when you turn it the right way out again. There are other ways of doing this stitch too. This one is just a mirror image, so you do the loop around the front rather than the back. Perhaps this is clearer for you to see. You can also do it in two steps. First go into the fabric as normal, but don't pull the thread all the way through. Then go back out through the loop afterwards. This way is slower, but it might be easier. So when you've done this on all four sides, you should get a nice round cap. Now take some light coloured thread and go over to the body. We're going to sew these edges together so the body makes a ring shape. Use blanket stitches along these short edges. When you're done, keep this inside out and fix on the circular base in one point with a few loops of thread, just like for starting or finishing off. And do the same on the opposite side. This makes sure the base will be even when the full sewing is done. Then go around the whole base with blanket stitches. Next you can choose to put in some cardboard supporting the base. If you do, you'll want to cut out a circle of card about the same size as your actual base, and then attach it with a few loops of thread in the centre. Now we're ready to attach cap to body. Choose the best looking side to be the front of the cap, and tie down two opposite points with a few loops of thread to make sure your next sewing will be even, just like we did for the base. You then need to turn the whole thing inside out and sew blanket stitches halfway around the cap, above the eyes. Make sure you don't go all the way around. So turn it the right way out, and add stuffing. It always looks like it needs more stuffing. In general, the more you use, the better. Next we use the final important stitch, the ladder stitch. Start off as normal, then take your needle and go in and out of the cream felt in one swoop. Then in and out of the cap felt. Keep alternating between the two sides of the gap. This stitch is useful for the final seam, because the thread is difficult to see, so it looks good on both sides when it's finished. On the other hand, it isn't very strong, which is why we use the blanket stitch more often. Once you get to the end, finish off as normal, then you're done. I'm definitely happier with this mushroom than my previous one, because it's rounder and so looks more like a proper mushroom. I also didn't have to use thread to pinch the head together like I did with my first one. It uh, stands up much better too. So I hope this was helpful, and if you make a mushroom or other Mario plush, feel free to leave a video response showing your finished product. See you!